Hi everyone, it's Devara from JH Kids here with insight number 15. Today, let's talk about promoting hope. What is hope? How would you define it? Have a think through these questions, either jot them down on your own, discuss it with your partner or come together as a family and discuss how you see this word, the word that we use often. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope the email finds you well. Um, I hope you have a great day, a birthday, and um, what does it mean to have hope? What are the benefits of having hope? What does a hopeful person look like? If you could have a picture up on your wall that represented hope, what would that picture be of? How can you increase hope? How do some communities express hope? How can you share hope with others? And have a think about it because Hope is something that is active, not passive. It's that knowledge that we can and do make things happen and that things can be better and that we can make them better. Snyder's hope theory speaks about three aspects of hope, having goals, pathways to meet the goals and the agency in those goals. Now I could make a 15, 20 minute video. I could run a whole discussion about hope in the long term, but I really want to hone in on hope amidst a crisis, which is what many of us are experiencing now. Um, but just to give a quick example of what it may look like with the three steps, a goal for your child may be that they want to buy a specific game at the toy shop. So the pathways to meet those goals may be to earn money, to raise the money for the game, and the agency is the belief that they can do it. And as parents who want to support their goals, we want to show them that there are many different pathways. One may not work for them. When it doesn't work for them, then they come to us. And instead of giving them the answers, we encourage them to find answers for themselves. And agency is our belief in our children. We believe you can do it. They can believe they can do it. So how can we build hope? When we are promoting hope, we want to be realistic. We don't want to tell our children that next week their birthday party is going to run as planned. But we do want to tell them that we're going to get there. There's going to be a time, hopefully, in the next week, in the next few weeks, sorry, or next month, where you will go to school again and see your friends again. And then share the practical steps that the government and the community and yourselves as a family are taking to keep everyone safe and get through this pandemic. Sharing hope can also help you feel more hopeful. So what are ways that you can share hope in a lockdown? Pick up the phone, call someone close to you, call a grandparent, nominate someone to receive a balloon through GEMS, write cards for the elderly and have them dropped off at an aged care facility, make cookies and drop them at your neighbor's door. Let me know what other ideas you come up with. What are some hopeful things you can say to yourself? I know that things will get better. We have faced challenges and always pulled through. We are strong and capable. We have the tools that we need. We have the support that we need. We may just need to ask for it. I'm saving up for a time when we can travel again. I'm not currently employed, but I will be again. And these are the steps I'm taking to get there and to see this through. If hopelessness kicks in, pick up the phone and get some support from someone to see you through. Look for hope in your children. They often see such a bright reality and a brighter future. Remember, you have a 100% track record for getting through each day so far. You are safe and you have the tools within you to face this. This too shall pass. See you next time. Bye.